Right, you know, I was really proud. I mean, we, uh, you know, I was really proud of our kids. Uh, you know, I had a mishap on, on, on our kickoff return unit on the, you know, heavy wind, got a sky kick, ball dropped, Eastern recovered it. And, you know, I was really happy, to, you know, our defense responded there. And, I mean, we really, really short field. They held them to a field goal. Um, they went up two scores. And then, you know, as I talked to you after the game, I thought that really sparked us as a general, as, a, as an entire team. It got us going. Um, after that, our offense really got going. And, um, I was happy the way they handled that. I mean, we could have folded, we could have folded up and went home, but our kids responded, and, and really, from that point on, uh, I thought really we did a good job on both sides and really got after them on, on both sides, and, and as well as special teams after that. Can I ask you, Gibbs taking over Eckler, has that been a good change? Can you tell he's really helped this team out? Well, I mean, it's been a, yeah. I mean, you can't, I mean, you got to say it's a good change, right? I mean, it's uh, you know what we've been able to do offensively with with him. Um, and I think maybe the the spark that he brought, um, as well as uh, the, you know his ex his execution with the offense has been outstanding. I mean he's uh, he's got us in the right place. He's made the right throws. Um, he's uh, he's definitely gave us the spark that we needed. I mean we were we were uh, we're really stagnant, um, and then he took over and we, we, we you know we've jump started a little bit. So talk about the crowd that traveled down your side. It was almost as good yeah, man, that was amazing, right? I mean I was I wasn't expecting that. Uh, you know uh, our crowd. Uh, it was, you know, it was just as loud as their crowd. I mean, the thing that, that made me the most happy, the happiest was uh, I look out there and there's, you know, there's 50 students on the rail, not even sitting down in the stands. I mean, they're yelling and, and, uh, and getting after it. And I mean, that, gosh, that makes you feel good, not only as a, you know, not only as a coach, but our players see that and just see the support that our fans and our, our student section, you know, showed up. And it's, uh, you know, it's 98 miles. They didn't have to, but they, they did. And it was, it was awesome. Talked a lot about how many wagon wheel games you've been a part uh -huh. of as a player, as a coach, different levels of coaching. What does right. it mean to get your first one from WTC? That's a that's a great. I mean, it's it ranks right. It's it ranks right up there with the highest. I mean, uh, you know, there's uh, it, it's it's not it's number one or number one A. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very special. Another thing too, I was the group of seniors we have this year. They're so like after the, yesterday in team meeting, they gave me the uh, the game ball. You know what I'm saying? Which is awesome, right? And so. Uh, um, to get those guys the wheel and let them run up the hill, I mean that's something they'll they'll never forget, and um, you know bring it back home their senior year. That's uh, it's pretty special. Kind of on that same note, your rare company, you and Don Carter, were the only two coaches to ever won that on both sides. How does it feel to be in that company? Well, it's it's great, right? I mean it's uh, um, you know here's another one too is uh, you know I, I don't did Coach Carter win one as a player? I don't think no. Okay, so it's no it's. You know that game is, is, is really special. I mean, I, as a player, as a coach, you know, get to win it on both sides. That's you know, it's, there's a lot of lot of history there, and I'm really fortunate. You guys are now above 500 in conference play. Right. Big matchup this weekend. UTB, huge, huge matchup, you know, and uh, UTB UTBB is, uh, gosh, they're a very, very, very good football team. I mean, they're big up front defensively. I mean, the defensive front is probably as good as we've seen all year long. Um, their their overall team speed defensively. Is, is, is really, really good. Um, Coach McCullough does an outstanding job of what he does offensively. They go fast. They've got some really some really great skill guys on the outside as well as their running back. I mean, it's a, it's a big test. I mean, they've, uh, you know, they've kind of hit some bumps along the road, but uh, they're, they're as good a football team as anybody in the Lone Star Conference. I mean, they, uh, they're, they're, they're good. they don't have any weaknesses. I'll just put it that way. Um, they've, they've had a little bit of bad luck with quarterbacks and things like that, but um, they're as solid as the Lone Star Conference football team, as we'll see. When you win a game, a rivalry that's as emotional as the wagon wheel can be, how do you refocus your guys, get ready for next week? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's next game, right? I mean, you got to, you know, it's, it's the whole deal. You gotta, we got in there yesterday. We, you know, we, we put the wheel up and, you know, we tried to try to move on as fast as we possibly can, get on to, you know, get on to University of Texas Permian Basin. And so uh, that's the whole thing. Yeah, it's an emotional win. Um, however, we got to get grounded and get back to work here. And another thing too is we get to we get to play at home this week, and that's always special. What are you kind of watching out for against the Oh, you got to look. I mean, you got to look at that defensive front as well as their linebackers, and then uh, you know defensively, the, the skill guys on the outside are pretty special. I mean, they're uh, they're, as good, they're as good as anybody in Division Two football, and so they're, they're long, they're athletic, and uh, they can go up and and make plays. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, those are those are some big factors. Yeah, we talked about how well Cannon played with your offensive line. You guys outrushed Eastern by like 25 yards, and they're a running team. So, like, you guys are balanced. Here. You 
Yeah, and that's that's what we want to be. We really do. And uh, and those hey, and that's another thing too. You know, you, you start the year. We're still young there. I mean, we we have one we have one senior. You know, on that offensive line. Um, uh, you know, with, with three of them being redshirt freshmen. You know, what I'm saying that's that's you know that's part of the growth. That's part of the development. We, we we've got to continue though. We've got to stay grounded. We've got to keep pushing those guys because we've got a good task this week.